can shave here and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into today's shave of the day because I have an appointment coming up in about 20 minutes so let's go ahead and get the party started today I will be using Sterling's iced pineapple I've already whipped it up into a little bit of a lather and it has a, a nice pineapple scent. It's not like candied pineapple, but it's not like real pineapple either. Um, it's more like kind of a blend of the two, like a candied pineapple uh, and a real pineapple. So that's kind of nice. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get this shave underway. I already shaved my head and took my shower. So now we'll go ahead and shave the face. So, how has everyone been doing? I hope you've been having some good shaves. Hope you've been enjoying this hot weather that's hit our nation. I know right now it's 74 degrees outside, 83 in my apartment. I had to turn in my I had to turn on my air conditioner. That sun just beats through the windows and bam. My apartment turns into an oven. So, it is rather warm in my apartment today. Had to turn on the air conditioner. And honestly, it's not really that bad outside, unless you're in the sun. I tell you what, I can feel the menthol kicking in on this iced pineapple from Sterling, and it is welcome. <laughs> right now I feel like I'm just like burning up of course you know you take your shower and that warms your body up and I, don't know, I sweat when I get out of the shower excuse me I grab a wash cloth on the bright side my allergies are getting a little better, even though all the weeds are coming out now. All right, let's go ahead and start with pass one with the grain. Edwin Jagger, DE89 LBL, the lined version. Nice little razor. Um, Derby Extra Blade. Don't know what use it is, but I'm just going to use this till it starts going bad. I know I told you guys I was saving up to get a timeless. Sorry about that. Forgot to put my phone on silent. Anyway, I know I told you guys. I was saving up to get a timeless, filling out those surveys, but I had $190 in credit sitting in my Amazon gift card balance. So I decided to go ahead and splurge. And I picked up some books. So, it was kind of, not, not exactly a spur of the moment thing, but there are some books I've been wanting for a while. So, I picked up the Bible Knowledge Commentary Set, edited by John Walvard. And usually that set sells for around 60 bucks. I picked it up used and got it for, I don't know, around 12 or 15. So, very happy with that purchase. Picked up a study Bible, because I had a copy, and uh, I sold it to a friend of mine, and I decided to finally replace it. So... You know, I got that going for me. Uh, let's go ahead and get this done. I ended up picking up a couple more soaps. 
Katie's Bubbles. I picked up a second container of Katie's Bubbles of Midnight Dreary because I love that scent. And it has good performance. And I also picked up Katie's Bubbles Unjul Gris. Ah, that menthol feels so good. So, oh, and I also picked up 300 Astra Blades. And um, they're costing me like 20 bucks or something like that for 300 But I got a friend I've gotten into using a safety razor. And he's almost out of blades. So he was asking, where do you get them from? I said, well, I'm ordering some Astras. Do you like Astra Greens? And he's like, well, yeah. That was one of my preferred blades. I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and let this run. I said, well, there you go. I'm ordering a multi-pack. If you want 100 I'll sell you 100 for the price of 100 for 10 bucks." He said, cool beans, order it. So, good deal. I'm going to end up getting 200 Astra Greens for like 10 bucks after I sell him the 100 So, that'll be nice. And then I will be stocked up on Astra Greens for a while. So... Let's go ahead and get into pass number two, across the grain. What was the other thing I was going to tell you guys? Uh, the two soaps, the uh, 300 pack of blades, something else, the two commentaries. Oh yeah, there's a, another commentary I just recently found out about, as soon as I saw it I wanted it. so. I ordered a copy of it. Another Bible commentary. So. But yeah, I figured with that Razor Rock Game Changer, I, I really don't need the Timeless. So. I'm going to get this done as quick as I can, while still being thorough. I'll tell you what, it seems like the more I use a derby blade, the smoother it gets, the sharper it gets. But yeah, I did pick up some shaving stuff and some books. And... Speaking of, Carl, if you're watching this, um, I told you about that Bible you sent getting intercepted. Um, it is no longer intercepted. It was finally delivered into the rightful owner's possession. So, praise the Lord, right? And she's loving it. Um, we are talking last night, it's like three in the morning, I think, just talking Bible, and oh man, she's, she's loving that thing. So, she told me to tell you thank you, and also that note you sent, She was on the fence what to think about it. She's like, it was a bad idea to send that note. Sorry about that. She's like, it was a bad idea to send that note. Well, it's a good thing it was sent because it was a good testimony to the person who intercepted. So, she says thank you for the encouragement. And uh, keep praying for her, please. All right.
Yeah. Still got a little bit of work to do on this third pass, but of course the performance on the soap is wonderful, which is typical of Sterling. You're gonna get top shelf performance at mid-range price. You know, ten bucks a puck, thirteen bucks a, a tub. But the performance is great. Awesome slickness. I like mine. This is kind of creamy, but I like it because you can make it. It's slick, but like you can have it creamier like this, or you can build it up into a more cushiony lather. And that is getting really cool on my face. <sighs> and if you guys are wondering what my ringtone is, it is a bear growling. Because for years, I was compared to a bear, either a teddy bear or a Kodiak, a grizzly. I can be either soft and snuggly or I can be on the warpath. So, kind of embraced it. So right now, I guess technically, I'm on a shaving buying freeze, technically, which that just means I don't make a lot of huge purchases at once. You know, I'll still buy a soap here and there. But... I don't buy a ton of stuff. All right. Let's see how this is. Whoa. Go in my cleanup. My air conditioner just kicked on. In the other room, I got, uh, oh, what's the name of that movie? Pilgrim's Progress, Kingdom of Heaven. It's on YouTube. So, decided to check it out before I'd buy the DVD. So I got it going. It's pretty good. It's like a, a modern retelling of John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress. <clears throat> which was a book written in like the 1600s. Which, by the way, if you'd like to check that out, Amazon Kindle... You don't have to have a Kindle. If you have an Android and you go to Play Store, you can download the Kindle app. And I think you can do the same thing with Apple. Um, but if you do that and you create your Amazon account, you can actually download a free copy of Pilgrim's Progress in modern day English. Even though it was written in the 1600s, you can get it in modern day English and get it for free. So I did. I also downloaded for free. Uh, the Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer, and Fox's Book of Martyrs, telling stories uh, about martyrs, those who have been persecuted and or killed for their faith in Christ, and John Fox wrote that, and that was during the Protestant Reformation about how the Roman Catholic Church killed you know, all these Protestants, and why the Protestants were Protestant, and why they died. Good book to have. Good piece of history. So, a little bit more water here. 
Yeah, I know. I'm like lathering up for just a cleanup pass, right? Oh, I tell you what though. This menthol is so cooling on the face. And it's a good amount of menthol without being overpowering. So that's a plus. Alright. All right. Oh, Weeper there. Weeper. All right, pull the excess off because I still missed a spot here. That one little trouble area. All righty. See if I can get it. Flatten out the face. Shave it like a diamond, one facet at a time. Oh yeah. Well, DE89 is a good razor, but I don't know. I, actually, I, I, it is a good razor for beginners, but I, I don't think, and I, I mean no disrespect to it, it could just be one of those YMMV things, but I just don't see where people say that it gives the greatest shave ever. Like, honestly, it gives a great shave, but I think a big part of it is just matching up the right blade in it, and that could just be me. But I was gonna say, I know like the Maggard MR series, like the V3 heads, those give every bit as good of a shave, and they're way cheaper. So, yeah. And honestly, I cannot tell a difference in the chroming between the Maggard V3 and the uh, Edwin Jagger. Except for on the base plate of the Edwin Jagger, mine has the Edwin Jagger logo stamped into it. Which is cool. So, yeah. Alright. Shave is done. Check the work. Solid, D uh, solid DFS. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my appointment's on their way up, so I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and wrap this up. So... A little bit of witch hazel. And now I'm in a rush, so aftershave, Dollar General Generic Brute. I'm gonna put that on off camera. I will see you guys later. Have a great day, God bless you, and remember to crave your shave. Till next time, this is Chad, I'll see you later.